One thing truth tables can be used for is to determine the equivalency of certain statements. For example, the conditional statement, P implies Q. The converse would be Q implies P. The inverse statement would be not P implies not Q. And the contrapositive statement would be not Q implies not P. Are any or all of these equivalent? So let's find out by filling out the simple truth table. So for Q, I'm going to do the alternating pattern, true, false, true, false. And for P, I'm going to double that pattern. So two trues and then two falses. And we have exactly enough space needed to fill out that last pattern. All right. Now, the conditional, the P implies Q. We can assume it's always true. But then we look for a true implies false. And that gives us a false. So that's right here. That's no good. So this one changes to a false. Okay. So again, with the if-then statements, you can assume they're always true unless you see the pattern true implying false, and that gives a false. Q implies P, same thing. Assume always true. And then look for a true implies false. Now, in this case, we're going Q implies P, so we have to look in that direction, and we see it right there. True cannot imply false. This one changes to a false. Okay. Now, not P, or the opposite of P, implies the opposite of Q, or not Q. Again, it's an imply, so we can assume it's always true. Unless not P, so we want to basically want a true implies a false, but with the not P, not true would be false implies a true. That one's kind of strange, and if it helps, you could fill out another set of columns. And I, I actually I do have room, just to make this a little bit smaller, drag it over. Let's put it on the left here. Not P, not Q. There we go. So not P would be the opposite of P. So false, false, true, true. And not Q would be the opposite of Q. So false, true, false, true. And we're trying to see that not P implies not Q. So we're going in this direction. And there's the trouble. Sorry, that's not right. What are we looking for? We're looking for a true implies false. That's right here. True implies false. So that one changes to false. Okay, contrapositive. Not Q implies not P. The implies, you can assume they're all true. And then again, look for a true implies false. Now, the not Q implies not P is going this direction. We're looking for a true implies false. And it's right there. That's the one that's bad. So that one gets changed. Oops. So much stuff is getting erased. All right, there we go. Now, what's important to see here is the pattern involved with the conditional is the exact same pattern involved with the contrapositive. So you can look to, if you're trying to show that P implies Q, you can show instead that not Q implies not P. And similarly, the converse, Q implies P, is equivalent to not P implies not Q, the inverse. So you now have a choice. If you want to directly show that P implies Q, you could also show that not Q implies not P. 
and the converse and inverse if you want to show that q implies p you can do not p implies not q and it's the same proof prove one you get the other is true so you can show equivalency of statements with a truth table if you get the exact same pattern of true falses for those statements all right i hope this makes sense